Welcome back to the Ships Inn. I'm Dr. Bailey Charles, the fourth Esquire. And I'm Lulu, just Lulu. And let's get, get into, into the, the news. news. First off, our in-house dynamic duo Lou and Lou has been working hard to bring you some footage and exclusive commentary from some of LA's best restaurants. Let's take a look. Hello, it's Louis. Part two for the intro because when we were recording at Tommy's, the audio was really bad and it basically was just unusable. So I'm sorry, uh, it won't happen again. Thanks for watching, enjoy the video. Tommy's original is a Los Angeles landmark. Started on May 15th, 1946, Tommy Kolak's introduced his restaurant, which gained most of their popularity from their famous chili-topped entrees. So that's why we got their chili cheeseburger and their chili cheese fries. resides at the historic Hotel Normandy. They pride themselves on their house-made sodas and classic 50s breakfast menu. They were started with the principle of being a hamburger shop with a focus on premium beef. So we couldn't leave without getting their famous hamburger. Some good memories. Anyway, we have an inside look into this year's heavily anticipated Lion King musical. Let's Akuna Mata get into it. <laughs> I love The Lion King, I love the music. I also have to find, I wanted to find a play that would fit uh, our, our you know, our student body so we have there's parts for everyone from kindergarten up to 12th grade we have uh, there's something for everyone and there's not a lot of musicals out there that fit that criteria so Lion King was a no-brainer as far as I'm concerned there's parts for everyone and it's 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 a great message it's a it's a great story great parts for actors to play beautiful music and we have an amazing production I can't wait for everyone to see it Pause forward. Heads down, tails in the air, ready, pounce! The biggest challenges uh, producing the play is just, uh, you know, uh, trying to organize everything. We have over, I think we have about 90 students from kindergarten to 12th grade in our play. So just coordinating all the schedules and working out, uh, you know, some of the students' schedules and, uh, but magically, for some reason, it all comes together and it's all working out. What's the most challenging thing about being in The Lion King? So far for me, it's like more of the move movement because you're like an animal, so you have to stay low and have like that demeanor and persona, so it's kind of hard. Okay. Yeah, same, because I'm kind of tall. Like, <laughs> I have to like bend down in like some of the songs, and it's like kind of hard. Sixth is Wednesday, so that's for the school at 1.30. And then we open Thursday night, April 27th, and we close Friday night, April 28th. 
pretty excited to see what the director has in store for the play. I'm excited to see what the live action version of Pumbaa looks like. Okay, anyway, let's take a peek into what this year's boys volleyball team has been up to recently. Take it away, Jefferson. My experience has been, um, it's been pretty good. Um, it's sort of been hard for me to sort of learn the skills of and adapt to the game because I've never played volleyball before. But with uh, Coach Abram, I'm a setter and she was a setter, so she's taught me very well and I've learned pretty quickly. Well, I would say the primary skills are hand-eye coordination and being able to work as a team because everyone has to be connected during the game and if everyone's not working together, then things fall apart. And I think that's probably the hardest challenge of volleyball is putting your personal skill mixed with the team skill and combining that together in a game can be very challenging. Mm -hmm. I hope we get to the playoffs and possibly beat first round and try to go from where I feel like we have uh, potential, but we're just not working as a team yet. But I feel like towards the end of the season, we should, uh, we should have high hopes for the playoffs. That's it for this episode's segments. Aside from that, we just wanted to let all our viewers know that APs are coming up fast. Be sure to study and get plenty of rest.